One of the great things about this sculpture is the sweep it has, the, the visual sweep from large to small, small to large, the, the apparent exponential growth of the measurements. It's an object that really grabs the public. And this is an amazing example of taking a, a rather mundane exercise, pulling points and joining tubes at their sides, those are called T-seals, and turning it into something really extraordinary. When someone begins learning how to blow glass at the torch, the first thing they do is they pull points. And that consists of taking a piece of glass tubing, in this case Pyrex or borosilicate glass, heating a little section in the torch, and then pulling the two ends away from each other. And that creates a long, thin tube that's tapering between the two larger parts of the tubing. And then that piece was taken and joined with a hand torch to the side of another one. If you look at this, you'll see that virtually every element is a slightly different diameter. They go from very small to very large. Now for years I used to stand in front of this giving tours and speaking about how great a laboratory glassblower Vera Lishtgeva must have been. And one Monday night I was giving this tour and Yerzy Hartseba, the great Czech sculptor and engraver, was with me. And he came up quietly and said, but Bill, Vera Lishkova never touched glass. This was made by a laboratory glassblower. She designed it. And everybody laughed. And it's true, it turns out that the pictures we see of Vera Lishkova with a piece of glass tubing in her hands at a torch were just staged. She actually never made any of her work. And this is a common convention in Europe, it has been and it still is to some degree, that a designer or an artist makes the drawing, makes the design, and then a craftsperson actually makes the object.